about the fish and how they swim in schools for protection. But we don't need to swim with a school of friends around us because we have God to protect us. And this week, we have another really cool sea creature to look at. Let's go check it out. Today's sea creature is really small and most people don't know how important this sea creature is to our environment. Today we're going to be looking at the shrimp. How many of you ever been called a shrimp by someone because you're often smaller than them? It's not very nice being called a shrimp, but if you know what I know about these cool little creatures, I think you'll think a little bit differently when someone calls you a shrimp. Shrimp are really important creatures to our environment and they live on the bottom of the ocean floor and they often eat all the junk that sinks down and settles on the floor. These guys even help bigger sea creatures who often get parasites or funny little bugs attached to them that will often go and eat them off the big sea creatures. How amazing is this? Today I want to tell you about an awesome little guy. He is called the pistol shrimp. Yep, you heard me right, a pistol shrimp. This little guy has a really big claw that's kind of like his weapon. And when he snaps his claw, he makes a really loud popping noise. And do you know what is so amazing? When he snaps his claw, a little bubble will shoot out of his claw with the pressure that it creates. And it even heats up the water to almost as hot as the sun. This is crazy. If you don't believe me, go and ask your parents to go check it out online. I didn't believe it either and I had to go look for myself. This is a really interesting little creature. When you know how important shrimp are to our environment, maybe it won't be such a bad thing if someone calls you a shrimp. All you have to do is think about the pistol shrimp and how cool it is and how he uses his little claw as a weapon to stun his prey and to protect the coral reef because sometimes he uses his weapon to chase off the starfish from eating the coral. Well, this is really awesome. And you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me that we don't have to be really big to make a difference in our world. God will still use you even though you are small and young. This is really cool. And I know you are going to just love our Bible story today because it talks about us not having to be big and all grown up to make a difference. Let's go check out our Bible story and see what it's all about. Before we go check out our cool Bible story, let's stand up and get ready to sing to Jesus.
today's Bible story comes from the book of Samuel, and it's about a guy that I'm guessing you already know quite a bit about. His name is David. David was the king of Israel, and God appointed him when he was pretty young. But the story that David is most famous for is what we're going to be talking about today. This is a story about David and Goliath. Now David was the youngest of all of his brothers, and he was also the smallest. And his job was to look after the sheep, so he was a shepherd. And his brothers were all soldiers, and they were busy protecting Israel. One day, David decided he wanted to go see what the action was all about and what was happening. And so he went down to where his brothers were. And when he got there, he saw a huge giant. And this giant was teasing all of the Israelites because everyone was too scared to fight him. But David knew that his God was bigger and stronger than any giant. And so he said he would fight the giant. And the king tried to give him all kinds of armor and a sword to keep him safe. But none of it fit David because he was so small. But David said all that he needed was his slingshot and five stones. So he went down to the river, got his stones, went up and stood in front of Goliath. When Goliath saw how tiny he was, he laughed and laughed. David put one stone in his slingshot, swung it and flung the stone out. And the stone went flying in the air and hit Goliath on the head. And Goliath fell down dead. How incredible is it that such a small guy could defeat such a mighty warrior? I love this story. You should never underestimate the little guy. And boys and girls, you shouldn't ever let anybody underestimate you. Because if you have God on your side and you've given your heart to him, we can do great things for him. When you're a child, you're growing up and you're learning all about the world around you, about God, and even about yourself. And sometimes people can think that you only figure out God's plan for your life when you're all grown up. But that's just not true. We learn that through David's story. His plan started when he met God and he was just a little boy. Kids can do big things to change the world. Just like the shrimp does a lot for its community around us, God can do big things through you and even me too. We just need to let God use us. Kids have done some incredible things in this world. Do you know that there are some kids that have invented things that are useful for us today? There are even kids who've started fundraisers for diseases and have tried to help find a cure. Kids have even changed their friends' lives by introducing them to Jesus and inviting them to church. God has a plan for your life, and that plan doesn't start when you're a grown-up only. That plan started when you met Jesus, and God wants to use you to do really big things in this world. You just have to let him use you. Shrimp are tiny little things, but they do so much for their world around them. And God can do exactly the same with us. So don't let anybody look down on you because you're young, but rather ask God to use you to change the world around you, starting right now. Our memory verse for the week is found in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Let's read it together. It says, you are young, but don't let anyone treat you as if you were not important. Be an example to show believers how they should live. Show them with your words, with the way you live, with your love, with your faith, and with your pure love. This is a really long verse, but it is so awesome, boys and girls, because it says that we mustn't worry that we are young. We can still set an example for others on how to love Jesus and to live for Jesus. say goodbye, I just want to pray for you guys. So let's close our eyes. Dear God, use us to do big things and help us to share your love with others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Boys and girls, can you believe that we're coming to the end of our Finding Jesus Under the Sea curriculum? Please could you take the time to go onto our website and click on the link there to do the survey because we want to hear from you so that we can start planning our next Kids Church Online. We really hope that you guys enjoyed our video today and we can't wait for you to see what we do next week.